Hello. Hello. Welcome to True Stories. This one's called the Cubicle Come, Come on. on. So our man here is on a date. It's one of those dates that looks like it's going extremely well. She's laughing at his jokes, and so far, no awkward pauses. Ah, so our friend excuses himself, thinking a little trip to the loo will be a great chance for both parties to recharge their conversational batteries, as it were. Note the chap in the background deciding to go to the toilet at exactly the same time. Bit odd. Bit odd. Our man decides a quick number two is in order. His first mistake. No one should ever leave a first date standing to go and give birth to a walking stick. And here's where things get a little bit weird. He's enjoying a bit of time to himself when he hears a voice coming from the next cubicle. Yeah, this voice is like, all right, mate. Understandably, our man is freaked out. Unsure how one is supposed to react to this very rare and strange situation, he does the only thing he feels he can. A little naively, I feel personally, he decides to respond with, hello. There's a pause. Is this the end of the conversation? Of course it isn't. Oh dear, the voice next door begins again. How's it going? How's it going? The stranger's obviously asking about the date. Why does he care about the date so much that he's happy to defecate whilst asking? It calls for a carefully worded and polite response. So, um, fine. Not too bad so far. Quick as a flash, the psycho next door comes back with, why? So, not only is this guy a hellbent serial killer, he's also a bit of a nosy Nancy. Well, I met her last Friday, I got a number and we're just getting to know each other. I, I do like her though, she's pretty hot. And then for reasons we will never know, he asks. What do you think of her? There's a long pause. Has, has this gone too far? And then the stranger pipes up. What? Oh God, it's gone too far. I uh, asked you what you think of her. And then we hear, hang on a minute. This is it. He's going to beat the door down and smash the dude's face in. No good can ever come from making conversation with the man in the cubicle next door. The horrendous truth is now revealed. Do you want to shut up, please, mate? I'm on the phone. Oh, no. Oh, completely mortified. Our man doesn't even wash his hands. So, the moral of this true story. Mm, don't chat to complete strangers in toilet cubicles. How about don't decide to have a poo halfway for a date. Now, now there's your lesson kids, either go before or not at all. So please do keep your true stories coming in. We know there's, there's plenty more out there just waiting to be given the bad teeth treatment. Send all your stories to the email below and if it passes our rigorous test of quality control we might even feature it in the next video. See ya. Bye. I'm going for a poo, you stay here. Okay. <laughs>